Yahweh, show the people of Moses your power! I don't know, boss. I guess he works there. You think he's packing? Ah, the guy writes a desk. Everyone in position. Uh huh. Don't screw this up, Tony. Hey, trust me, boss. Hey, you know I do. Okay, boys. It's playtime. What happened to the pizza? Oh, sorry, Virgil. Pizza's off till we pay Mort that 20 bucks we owe him. <laughs> what chance of that? Hey, something smells nice. Uh, you got a visitor. Business? I sure hope so. Oh. Uh, hi. Can I help you? Mr. Strobart? That's me. Thank God. I thought you'd never get here. <laughs> it's that kind of neighborhood. Please, Mr. Strobart. I need your help. Oh, you want a bail bond? Oh, no. Not a bail bond. You see, there are some men. They're after me. They want to kill me. Oh, if they find me here, they'll probably want to kill you, too. I have a manuscript, you see, and... Whoa, 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 look, miss. Anna Maria. Anna Maria, this, this is a bail bond agency, I'm a lawyer, and you need the police. But there isn't time. Lady, in my experience, there is always time. Now do you believe me? Are those the guys that- Yes, and if we don't get out of here... My trusty telescopic nine iron. Ah, uh, 100 watts of top quality audio heaven. Beats paying the rent any day. door's stuck. I need some kind of tool to get it open. Aren't you supposed to be good at this sort of thing? No, not anymore. I gave it up. Tell that to them. Yeah, right. So what do we do now? I'm working on it!
Can we get out through here? I don't know. Do you want to go back down? Are you crazy? Exactly. Well, I don't think we're going to have it to ourselves for long. What did you do to those guys? I have a manuscript. They want it. Let me guess. It ain't poetry. It contains the secret location of a priceless treasure. Oh, terrific. I should have known. It's been in my family for years. I started to decode it, drew too much attention to myself, and now this. Well, thanks for asking me along. Really appreciate it. So where are we? I don't know. I've never been up here before. That's the elevator. Weird. I wonder who could be... Are you crazy? The bad guys, that's who! I can't hold this forever, George. Now that should hold it. Lucky the old Stobart Club has a locking device. Thanks. That was a good idea. Yeah. Clever, huh? This thing isn't coming off in a hurry. Hmm, some kind of grill covering an old extractor fan. Looks like it was plastered into the wall. Quick, give me a hand with this grill. Sure. That should stop anyone from calling the elevator. Come on, we can get out this way.
reach across. Okay, Anna Maria, you can cross the alley on the joists. Thanks, George. Now let's make sure they can't follow us. Just what I was gonna do. Come on, they won't haul them off for long. You know what? I think we might just make it. I underestimated you. A lot of people make that mistake. So, are you for hire? Depends on the deal. 10,000 up front, 10,000 when you decode the manuscript. I'm for hire. Uh, just one question. Why me? The manuscript is covered in medieval symbols. And you do medieval, don't you? Sure, I do medieval. I even do medieval under fire. You won't regret it, Mr. Stover. Please, call me George. Okay, George. But tell me, how are we going to get out of here? Trust me, we'll find a way. I'll find a way to get back to you. They came up this way. bolted. No wonder it won't open. Okay, you can get across now. Thanks. That was a good idea. Breaker switch just won't stay in the old position. That pipe must have given it a hell of a wallop. No way am I touching those live cables. As old Granny Stobart always used to say, never play with matches or live power cables. Ironic, given the way she died. Still, I guess it saved on the cremation. Hold this breaker switch for me, would you? Sure. Now, why did you get me to do that? Damn. 
Those cables look dangerous. Best keep clear. Hmm, that won't work here. Hold this breaker switch for me, would you? Sure. Thanks, George. Now let's get out of here. Just can't get the leverage. Hey, Anna Maria, would you turn this handle for me? Okay, George. I just can't get the leverage. Come on, Anna Maria, I can't hold it for long. I'm with you, George. Where now? Brooklyn, my hotel. The manuscript is in a safe in my room. Uh, any ideas how we get there? Taxi? Come on. That's amazing. First taxi I ever saw stop in this neighborhood. Hell! This is bad, Tony! This is nearly a screw-up! No way is this a screw-up! Yeah, maybe you're right. I found her bag. At least now we know where she's staying. You dumbass! We already know where she's staying! We do? Oh, yeah! Uh, it's a screw-up, all right! George, look! I know. It's a crime against interior design. No! The guy by the desk, he's one of them! Okay, Nico, here's how we play it. Nico? What? Uh, Anna Maria, sorry. Uh, here's how we do it. I go in, find your room, then you sneak around the back and I let you in. Only one problem. My key was in my bag. So? I lost my bag! Ah, well, uh, don't worry. I'll figure out a way, trust me. I do. With my life. Hey, wouldn't go that far. So, uh, what's your room number? 23. Second floor. Right. I'll get in there somehow and open a window for you. I'll be in the alley. Good luck. You got my cell number? Yeah, don't worry. Thanks for letting me use your phone, buddy.
Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me. Maybe, maybe not. Are you the receptionist? I'm the manager. Name's Alfonso. You could call me Mr. Alfonso. Where's the receptionist? She went AWOL. Good for nothing, lazy broad. Who is the guy who just left? Is he a guest? No, he just came in to use my phone. Normally, I don't let people come in off the street and use the facilities, but uh, he's got a nice face. What a surprisingly sweet, sentimental man you are. What? So, what happened to your receptionist? Probably got to get her hair done. She should concentrate on that hairy lip of hers first. You are all charm. You gotta be in my game, pal. So, you been running this place long? It's been in my family for generations. You must be very proud. You seem a little stressed. Wouldn't you be if your receptionist just upped and left? Look on the bright side. You got a shortcut to the quiet life right there in your hand. I thought that smoking was banned in public places in New York. You got a problem with me smoking, you leave. Leave? I love this place. I'm looking for a room for one night. Maybe something with a view? We're full. Take this flyer. Book ahead next time. What a hotel. So busy and yet so charmingly quiet. A triumph. Are you sure you don't have a room for a night? Are you calling me a liar? No, I thought maybe you'd got the dates confused. You saying I got that memory disease, huh? What's the name of that damn thing? Uh, I'll something. Hey, forget it. What? Hey, what do you think of my invention? Not a lot. Lucky Einstein never stayed here. About a room. Exactly what part of no do you not understand? Hey, you! Leave that clock alone! I was just admiring it. Ah, so you've had that new laser eye surgery, have you? Huh? The surgery that attaches your eyeballs to your hands? But I don't have... Oh, <laughs> I get it. You do? So back off! You bet! I've got nothing to put into it. Cheesy pictures of local places I'd never want to visit. Excuse me. All right, all right. Take my money, but don't hurt me. I was just wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions. Oh, oh, I, I see. I thought you were one of those awful gangster rappers. But dressed like this? Well, exactly. They don't dress well, do they? Did you see the man who was here a minute ago? Big chap? Powerful. Well-built, scary-looking? Uh, yeah, I guess that could be him. I don't suppose you know what he wanted. I think he was looking for his wife. Mistress, more like. It's been the busiest day since I arrived. A veritable fly-past of undesirables. The hotel manager seems to have a chip on his shoulder. What's his problem? Oh, he's been in a foul temper ever since I arrived. But when his receptionist went missing a little while ago, he turned very nasty indeed. So, where's the receptionist gone? I have no idea. One minute she was there, serving a dubious-looking customer. Then, I believe, she showed him upstairs to his room. She hasn't been down since. So what's a man with such good taste doing in a joint like this? When I checked the website, the hotel was a luxury five-star affair. It's clearly a sophisticated scam, a fraudulent attempt to draw rich people to this area of the city. 
where they will be caught in a web of evil entrapment and licentiousness. So, what brings you to New York? Cackling, Brent, Pinkfoot? Come again? Bean, Brent, and Barnacle? Uh, yeah. Geese, sir, wild geese. Alsa, Alberfranz, Branta, Bernicla, the great ocean wanderers. I'm here to purchase some rare watercolors depicting geese. Paintings of geese, huh? I guess it beats stuffing them. If you don't mind me saying, you look a little nervous. The World Wide Web declared this place to be a boutique hotel gem, the like of which Philip Stark himself would be proud. Not your view, huh? No, sir. It is a rat-infested, urine-stained hellhole. I fully expect I shall be mugged, held to ransom, or even... Even what? I mean, doesn't bear thinking about. So why don't you go somewhere else? I would. Sadly, the dealer from whom I am purchasing the paintings is indisposed. And he only has the number for this hotel to contact me. I simply cannot go home without my geese. Well, I guess that's the price you pay for art. Do you like golf? No, sir, I do not. It is a despicable game played by gold-digging Aravists. Eager to ape their betters and disguise their true origins deep within the murky masses of the lower orders. So, not a big fan then? Well, let me change that. Yes, sir. This is the new telescopic golf club from Stobart Industries. No more need for cumbersome bags and caddies. Simply compact it down and hit that green. Perfect for the reluctant novice such as yourself. My dear man, I can think of nothing more appalling. Please remove your horrible little golf club. As if I would deign to buy merchandise from a street hawker such as yourself. I guess that's a no then. Excuse me, Mr. Alfonso. Can you spare a moment? What do you think this is, a hotel? Oh, don't worry. I'd never make that mistake. That grandfather clock is beautiful. Ain't it, though? Worth the fortune. Next year, I'm trading it in for a condo in Florida. About a room. Exactly what part of no do you not understand? There is a fault on this line. They must have smashed the office up pretty good. Hello again. Ah! Oh, for God's sake, be careful. Oh, I have a weak heart. Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. What do you want? I've got no reason to try that. He doesn't look like the type to appreciate my line of work. Hey, leave that door alone. That's for paying customers only. But the other guy used it. I like his face. I don't like yours. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? If you make it quick. About a room. Exactly what part of no do you not understand? About a room. Exactly what part of no do you not understand? Hey. You need your room key card to open those doors. No key card, no getty in.
Hmm. Out of order. Hmm. Out of order. I'm still trying to get a hold of a key card. Well, you better hurry, George. These guys are sure to spot me soon. I'm on it. Bye. It's a sliding partition guarding a greasy-looking phone. Tasteless, gold-plated lighter. It must be Alfonso's pride and joy. Alfonso still looking grumpy as ever. What did I tell you about those hands? That they were so lovely I should do hand modeling for cigarette ads. It's the flyer for the lousy New York Hotel. On the top is the hotel number. I guess it could be useful. What do you think you're doing? Don't touch me, don't touch me! Sorry, I just wanted to look at your book. This book is not for your sort! Now leave me alone or I shall call the constabulary. The constabulary? How are they going to get here in a time machine? The man's reading a book called On the Wings of a Goose. Tucked in between the pages is a key card. Hello again. Ah! What do you want? Is it a good read? Oh, it's a wonderful book full of magic and wonder. And, let me guess, Geese? It's a scandal that it still hasn't graced the bestseller list. Oh, it's a crime, a literary crime. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. Thelwell Minster. George Stobart. What a pleasure to meet a fellow goose lover. Gotta love them geese. Do you have a key card to get past those security doors? I certainly do. It makes an excellent bookmark. I seem to have misplaced mine. I don't suppose I could borrow yours? Sir, I do not know you from Adam. For all I know, you intend to enter this building under false pretenses. I only want to get up to my room. Then you shall have to see that vile creature behind the counter. I have no desire to go to prison on your behalf. Especially as there appears to be such a shortage of soap in those establishments. Alfonso's Hotel? What do you want? Hi there. I was wondering if you could help me. I was wondering if I could speak to a Thelwell Minster? Yeah, sure. Let me put a call out over the tannoy. Hey, Thelwell! 
There's a call for you here. The book's of no interest, but I'll borrow the keycard. Can you believe it? I'm even getting crank calls here. You of all people. The second my friend calls, I should be out of here too sweet. The tutor the sweeter, I bet. my room and open the bathroom window. Okay, just hold on and, and, I don't know, look invisible. Invisible? Standing on a fire escape? Okay, okay, I'm on to it. I really hate doing stuff like this, but it could be useful. Ooh, that's Nasty. A pile of dead bugs at the bottom of the stairwell. It's a massacre. Bodies everywhere, legs in the air. Reminds me of that party Ross threw for my 21st. <laughs> Heck, he should be getting out of jail soon. Huh? A strange noise coming from the cleaning closet. Hey, there's nothing in there that concerns you. But what's that banging inside? Beetles. The whole place is riddled with them. Beetles? Just what the heck are they feeding on? There's no point in fiddling with delicate electronics. Hmm, that won't work here. Using that won't work. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? If you make it quick. That's a lovely lighter. That's all I got left to remind me of my old man. Oh, 
poor bastard died in a gas explosion. Shame. They found his lighter half a mile away. Polished up nice, though, don't you think? So, what's with the security doors? This city is rough and unforgiving. Hmm, a bit like your face. So, what's with the nervous guy? I drove in from Virginia. I had the nerve to say our website was all lies. I wouldn't mind, but we don't even have a website. He seems a little nervous. Been here two days, waiting on a phone call. Says it's too dangerous to go outside. <laughs> With you on reception, I'd take my chances outside any day. An old grandfather clock. Looks like an antique. Probably the only thing in this place that's worth anything. It's beautiful. No way am I doing that. The lighter's behind the glass partition. Hey, I already told you, stop messing with my window. I'm sorry, it's just so beautiful. What are you, some kind of prevert? I think you mean pervert. Ha! So you admit it, huh? That's not the right approach. That's not quite right. That's not the right approach. Hey there. Can I help you, mister? I'm looking for room 23. It's out of bounds. Why? Are you staying in room 23? No. Are you? I could get myself in trouble here. No, I'm just looking for a friend. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. Beat it. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Heartbreak Hotel, huh? Hmm. Let's do the time warp. I've got a sudden urge for deep-fried cheeseburger. Those sprinklers look like they could squirt out lots of water. Oh. Flowers feel dry and dusty. The flowers are completely dry. Alfonso sure knows how to treat a plant. From tea tree to tinder in one easy lesson. I'm not gonna open the door when it's clear they want privacy. Maybe they are renting the room by the hour. Nothing. Must be broken. <laughs> what a surprise. I don't want to cross the barrier for fear of my health. Old Uncle Stobart was a bug buster. The chemicals he used sent him over the edge. Of course, at the time, we just put it down to the booze. But when we cremated him, the toxic cloud shut down half the city. A large fumigation warning sign. Hmm. Some guests. I wasn't expecting this many legs.
using that won't work. Hey, what did I tell you about those hands? That they were so lovely I should do hand modeling for cigarette ads. Get out of here. Using that won't work. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? If you make it quick. So what's with the fumigation work going on upstairs? Death Watch Beetle. Whole buildings infested with them. Eating up my livelihood from the top down. So, apart from eating every scrap of wood, what harm do they do? They fall in your food. They climb in your hair. They live in your bed and they are impossible to kill. Alfonso won't be happy. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? If you make it quick. It could be my eyes, but is that something moving on your clock? It's the hands, pal. It's called time. Can't you see it? Oh, let it not be. What? A Death Watch beetle. No! Not my precious clock! Got it! Listen, pal, if you don't stop messing with my window, I'm gonna start messing with yours. Sorry about that. Shoot! Hmm. A cigar stub. Cuban. The safe's been cleaned out. They've taken Anna Maria's manuscript. Hmm, it's a pen with the logo of a black cat embossed on it.
The fan shudders when it slows down. I bet this room's got the highest mortality rate in the city. Maria, over here! George, what took you so long? I was having so much fun I just lost track of time. Next time, you get the fire escape. Oh yeah? Well maybe next time I'll charge double. Now how do we get out of here? The alley's full of bad guys. And there's some even badder guys out there. So what about the safe? Oh my god! What's happened here? The whole place has been turned over. And the manuscript, it's gone. Gone! I'm sorry, Anna Maria. But we'll figure out what to do, I promise. Oh, George. It just means so much to me. I know, I know. My family. We're not rich. You see, the treasure, I think I've built it up so much. Now look, you tell me everything you can remember about the manuscript and maybe I can help. Okay, I'll try. The manuscript, well, it's on old parchment and, and there's writing, Latin writing. Uh-huh. So it's old with Latin writing on it. Well, that sure narrows it down. If you're going to be like that, I'm not going to tell you. Well, give me a break, will you? What else was on it? There must have been something. Pictures. Beautiful pictures. Can you remember any? One. There's one. Oh, it's so beautiful, George. A crusader on horseback, fighting a dragon, everything red and gold. Hmm. Still not a lot to go on. You don't believe me, do you? You think I'm just making it up? Of course I believe you. I just don't think I can help you till we find the manuscript. Maybe the guys who took it left clues. Exactly. And all we have to do is find them. Easy. Hey, that's my line. Well, you better get used to sharing. That's better. Just don't worry, Anna Maria. I am going to get your manuscript back. I promise. The ashtray. What do you make of this pen? I've never seen it before. See the logo? A black cat. What do you think it means? Beats me. Pet shop? You okay? You been funny? Not into rain, huh? This jacket shrinks. I'll never get out of it. I'd like to see that. Beat it, mister. This ain't no freak show. The number of combinations must be immense. There's no point in guessing. How can I get the code for the door? Maybe this pen will help him out. The pen is great, but they're going to need paper as well. Maybe who's ever in there can write out the code. I can hear shuffling noises. And there's the pen and the flyer. There's a number scribbled on the flyer. 5837X. The number scribbled on the flyer is my best bet. Here goes nothing.
My God, are you okay? I am now. Thank you. Um... Yeah, call me George. What happened? One minute. I'm looking for some cleaner. Next thing I know, I'm being bundled in here and it all goes dark. Did you get a good look at the guy who did it? It sounds crazy, but he looked just like Elvis. Uh-huh. Go on. He also had a tattoo. A tattoo of a snake wrapped around an immense... Don't mind me. That's him! You won't get away this time, punk! Okay, Anna Maria. The goons are gone, but the cops will be here soon. We better get out of here. But where are we going to go? To see a friend about your manuscript. Hey, glad you could stop by, George. If you see anything that hasn't been smashed, help yourself. Finish the place off, huh? Better still torch it. Raise it to the ground. Virgil, you're upset. I can see that. That's why I went into business with you, partner. That amazing detective brain. We got insurance, don't we? You let it lapse, remember? Ah. Uh, so, uh, what's with the gizmo? This, this is my MP3 player, man. What's left of it? The greatest soul and R&B collection ever smashed, destroyed by your pals. How am I gonna work without the sounds of Maggie J. Blind, huh? How am I gonna sleep without the greatest hits of Barry Brown, the hippo of love? How am I gonna sing in my shower without my dose of Malteser? These are rhetorical questions, I guess, right, Virgil? They're burning and forthright questions, man! I can buy you another! No! You can't. Last shipment came into the city, somebody stole them all. Could be months before the next one. I could have been killed, and all Virgil does is whine about his player. I have a manuscript to get back. That's not such a good idea. Anna Maria, can you spare a moment? What do you need, George? Hey, Anna Maria. Are these your cigarettes? No. Why? Hmm. Somebody dropped a pack here. I'll take them anyway. May just provide a lead. Where do I go next? No. There's more I want to do. Where do I go next? Anna Maria, you better stay here. You'll be safe with Virgil. And then this guy slipped a pen and paper under the door. He looked like... him! Well, if it ain't the hero, save the day. Oh, I don't know about save the day, but hey, I'm happy with hero. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like heroes, which means I don't like you. So next time, leave it to the professionals. I'll remember that next time. Hello again. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm much better now. Oh, thanks to you. I thought I was going to be in there for days. Good thinking with the pen and paper. Well, I try. My name is Juanita. I'm George. You've got lovely hands, George. Such long fingers. Do you play the piano? No, but I can play some pretty good licks on a ukulele. I'll bet you can. You got any idea what the guy was after? He was looking for a lady. Said she was staying here. So how did he get past you? He knocked my nail varnish off the counter. He must have followed me when I went to get some cleaner and then wallop. Ouch. Left quite a bump. You want to feel it? Oh, uh, that's okay. I, I can guess, uh, what your bump feels like. <laughs> 
So did you catch the guy who locked you in the closet? I got one good kick in before he ran away. He won't be sitting down in a hurry. Tell me something. Why do you work here? One day, Alfonso will choke on his last cigarette, and this place will be up for grabs. And guess who's going to be doing the grab? How do you work with that man? I've had worse jobs. Alfonso's okay. Just as long as you don't talk to him. Why would you want to do that? Why is he so grumpy all the time? If you've been smoking for 30 years, wouldn't you be grumpy? Thanks for your help. Excuse me. Ah, uh, yes, our very own superhero. I'm Officer Halloran, and you are... George Stobart. Two B's, two T's. Two B's, two T's, got it. So, what do you want, Mr. Two B's, two T's? The guy who locked up the receptionist. You got any idea who he was? Hmm, medium height, dark hair and a quiff. Looked a bit like Elvis. Could have been anybody. Did you see any distinguishing marks? Well, there was his tattoo. You know, that guy's tattoo was very unusual. Surprised me. It was a snake with massive fangs wrapped around what looked like... Spit it out, man! Wrapped around... Well, a salami. A salami, you say? Yes, a salami, I say. Well, that explains everything! Oh, yes? Oh, yes! A salami means only one thing around here! And what's that? It means there's a deli open! What? Just kidding. It means... The Martino Gang. Wait till my boss hears this. Well, he knows the Martinos? Been after him for years. What did the men want here? Hmm, looks like they were after something in one of the rooms. The safe was opened and emptied. We're looking into it now. But I thought you said it was empty. One more wisecrack and you'll be taking a prison shower tonight. Ouch. So what happens next? We put out an APB on the suspect. Then we investigate the illegal use of the fire alarm. Fire alarm? Uh, what happened? Some idiot, that's one D and one T, set off the fire alarm. Wantonly setting off a fire alarm in the city of New York carries a custodial sentence. Ha! <laughs> what imbecile would do a thing like that? Thanks for your help. Hello, Alfonso. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what happened to Mr. Minster? Uh, he panicked and ran off when it all blew up. Didn't even pay, the freeloading son of a... Where did he go? Who knows? He just kept shouting, the geese, the geese. Last I saw, he was heading for the city. So are you glad you got your receptionist back? <laughs> Lazy, good for nothing. <sighs> she's lucky she still got a job. But it wasn't her fault she was attacked. <laughs> if I didn't have all this paperwork, she'd be out on her ear. So did your clock survive all the commotion? Yeah. Never did find any beetles on it, though. Ain't that funny. They must have jumped ship when they saw you coming. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe they were never there. What do you think? I think that's an interesting hypothesis. Thanks for your help. Excuse me. Yeah. You ever seen this brand before? Where'd you get them? Oh, someone left them where I work at a bail bond agency. Yeah, figures. That's just the kind of place you'd find black market cigarettes. Black market? That's right. Illegal. They're coming into the city by boat, somehow. All courtesy of your friends, the Martinos. Hey, they're not my friends. I believe you. The Martinos only have friends in high places. Hmm. 
that won't work here. That's not such a good idea. Where do I want to go next? Hey, George. Where do I go next? Anna Maria, you better stay here. You'll be safe with Virgil. Excuse me, Officer O'Halloran? Yes, Mr. Stobart. So the guy who was here is a member of the Martinos? Correct. And the cigarettes are being smuggled into the city by boat? Correct. So the Martinos have a hangout near the docks? Correct. I should play this more often. They got no factory down on the East River. A legitimate business. Mama Martino's Meatpacking Company. So we can't touch them. Time for a stroll down to the docks, I think. Thanks for your help. Where do I want to go next? Martino's Meatpacking Company. The manuscript could be somewhere inside, but I'm gonna have to get in to find out for sure. Hi there. Hello, sir. My name is Chico Carella, and I run this shop for Mama Martino's Salami Factory. We got a wide range of salamis for your delectation. We got salami Milano, salami di Folino, salami Ungarese, salami Brasaiola. Yeah, we got so much salami, we got salami coming out our ears. <laughs> Little joke there. Maybe sir is looking for something uh, extra special. How about a 28-year-old vintage salami? Made the way Mama used to make it, huh? Uh, thanks, but no. Spicy foods don't agree with me. You mean... You don't eat salami? Uh, no. Not... ever? Not really, I better get on it. Like... never? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm crazy about salami. I die for salami. I love salami. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I love you too. You're a funny guy. Hey, don't I know you? You on TV? Oh, I've just got one of those faces. I never forget a face, you know. Yeah, it'll come to me. <laughs> funny guy. You have a very wide selection of salamis. That's because Mama Martino, she make a lot of different salami. This one here is made out of boar. Was the boar wild? Well, he wasn't too keen on the idea. <laughs> it's an old gag, but always a good one, huh? What makes a Martino salami so special then? The finest and the freshest ingredients. And, of course, the secret recipe. So, what salami would you recommend for me? I know it the minute you walked in the door, sir. The Martino Vintage. The Me Plus Ultra of the salami world. Nice Latin, I'm impressed. You see, the Martino Vintage utilizes only the tenderest meat. 
hung and bled for three whole days whilst being constantly beaten. Oh, really? Uh, what do you beat it with? Baseball bats. Anyway, when the meat's ready, the boss himself grinds it up. From one batch, we can make 50 salamis. Each one goes to a different store as a one-off special. This is my only 28-year vintage, and it's going cheap. Wow. To think that salami's been around for 28 years. Ha! Are you crazy? <laughs> 28's the age of the meat when it goes into the salami. Oh, I see. So how long have you been working here? As long as I can remember. This place has been in the family for a long time. Oh, so your relatives own it? <laughs> no, no, no. The family. The family. Oh, I see, of course, the family. This guy's crazy. What's he talking about? So why are you working here in the salami shop? Well, first and foremost, I love salami. And second and second most. If I wasn't here, how could I demonstrate my love of salami to so many people? Now, there's a sentiment you normally hear more often after dark down by the docks. You look like a guy who's lived a little. Why not take a holiday, see the world, retire? Uh, mister, you don't retire from Mama Martino's. Mama Martino's retires you! Do you like golf? Nah, I could never handle the clubs. Every swing, smack, run to the ground. Nothing beats a baseball bat. Really? Well, it, it's never too late to learn. Let me present the Stobart Patented Extendable Golf Club. Oh, extendable. It could be useful. Of course, if you're talking portable, it's gotta be the knife every time. Knife? Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. My mistake. That's a nice club. Very nice. I don't suppose you know what make of cigarette this is. I sure do. Those are Heavenly Breeze, the finest Italian cigarettes you can buy. Interesting branding. My favorite. Very hard to get in this country, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I guess that. One drag from one of those babies, and you feel like you're up there with the angels. Ah, oh, yes, sir. What do you want for the pack? Right. If I give you this pack of cigarettes, you have to give me... The Vintage Salami. Vintage for some cigarettes? Yeah, it's an interesting offer. And it's a done deal. There you go. One Martino's classic vintage salami. Thank you. And here's your pack of Italian cigarettes. I bet you're just itching for one of those death sticks right now, huh? You better believe it. But if I leave here and get found out, there'll be hell to pay. I'll have to wait until no one's around. Nice doing business with you. Chico's got what he wants. Now all I have to do is hide, watch, and wait. Without a full protective suit, I won't be touching those cans.
Wearing the apron, I'd be able to move freely about the building. And there's no time like the present. Hi there, I'm George. What do I care? You ain't nothing to me. Charming. Yeah, well, I ain't here for the small talk. What do you want? You know Chico in the trade shop? What's he like? Time we let the old goat go. His memory shot to pieces. Don't say that to him, though. He's got a temper on him bigger than the bulls. But he seems so harmless. Yeah, that's what the last helper said. Then he asked Chico to share a cigarette and BAM! Bam? BAM! A month later we got a can of dog food returned with the guy's tie in it. No. <laughs> Only joking, kid. <laughs> Great gag. So where is the famous Mama Martino? When do I get to meet her? Are you crazy? Mamma's been gone these past 50 years. <laughs> God rest her soul. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. So, who runs this place now? The boss. Fingers Martino. Didn't they tell you in the interview? Well, I was just too excited at the time. That explains a lot. My favorite aria coming through the walls. But where from? Well, well, well. Empty, apart from an electronic card reader. somewhere. But where? Aha! The safety key fits the lock on the forklift. So then the bum tries to tell me it was my boys that screwed up. Huh. Everybody knows my boys are the best. Ain't that right, Mr. Spalacci, sir? So I am told. 
That's why you hired me. Apparently. Anyways, Tony's got cold feet now. Ain't that right, fellas? That's right, Mr. Fingers, sir. I guess he's gonna be uh, hanging around a long time before uh, another job comes his way. You crack me up, Mr. Fingers. You see, messing with my wife I could deal with. But screwing my business, why, that's personal. So, anyhow, Mr. Spalacci, sir, here we are. The manuscript safe and sound. Filed under F. F for found. Clever, huh? So much better than F for failure, don't you think? Or G for garrote. Or H for hanged himself, huh? Very, very, very funny, Mr. Spalacci, sir. It's very funny. I've got to find a way to get those guys out of there. I can hardly feel the heat of the wood through the blanket. I still see Spalacci and Fingers in the office. If I could just get them to leave, I might be able to grab the manuscript. The wood's smoldering in the air vent, but only a small amount's going into the room. I need to make more. Smoke. Don't you just love it? <laughs> the smell of Naples herself in a salami. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it, huh? But hey, you can have too much of a good thing, right? <laughs> what say we uh, <laughs> all head down to the club and uh, celebrate our little success? <laughs> For God's sake, yes. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Tony, how's it hanging, Tony? <laughs> you guys finish up now and head home, you hear? What about the new guy? What new guy? Fella started just now. Ah, let him be. Hey, he ain't gonna starve, right? <laughs> Fingers and the other guys are leaving. Now's my chance to get the manuscript. This must be Tony. Looks like it's gonna be another good year for the Martino Vintage. I really don't want to do this, but I've got no choice. Ugh. Yes! A key card! Fingers and the rest of them came out of this room. But how? The room's full of wooden boxes and there's only one exit. Thank heavens for secret doorways. Whatever's wrapped in this handkerchief must be very precious to someone. Terrific! A photograph of actress Lucy Chu from that film In Cold Blood. Nice, but not worth wrapping in a handkerchief. Well, that stain sure won't ever come out.
Maybe the grease from the handkerchief could loosen up those wheels. The secure cabinet's wheels are rusted and seized up. Nothing a bit of oil or grease won't fix. Through the open window, I can just see the bone cruncher. Falling into that thing would be a big mistake. I bet it could tear cars apart. The cabinet's locked and secured so tightly that it's impossible to open. Even a seasoned pro would struggle here. Put the keys back into the bone cruncher. Underneath the MP3 player is Anna Maria's manuscript. It's the real thing, all right. 14th century. The question is, how am I going to research it? Museums are out of the question. No. I need somewhere much more salubrious. Hey, Anna Maria, look. George, you found it! Oh, thank you, thank you! All part of the service. Now. Let's see just what we've got here. Now that's a king who really loves himself. A deformed holy man gazes over the seas. A fairly typical depiction of a fortified European city. Fires of hell are consuming the city. The fires of hell are consuming the city. The fires of hell are consuming the city. Fleur de lis in some pattern. The manuscript was made in 1307. The Templars must have known an attack was imminent and took care their treasure would be safe. Cross, crescent moon, star of David. I wonder why these symbols are here. Do you think this angel's important? Perhaps the manuscript will give us a clue. And this looks like Saint George, the patron saint of England fighting the famous dragon. See how the fortified city has minarets? It looks eastern. Strange. The city on the right looks eastern, but it's being defended by a Christian knight. Wasn't St. George English? Actually, he came from Turkey. Hey, I recognize this. It's Baphomet, the idol that the Templars were accused of worshipping. I really need to find a way to research these subjects. A 
worthy and devout looking man? It's an eastern looking city. It says, below the fortress of the one true patriarch awaits the angel. For he who is worthy and follows the path of the righteous. Your Latin's good. It was kind of geeky at school, but you know what? It sure paid off. So, all we need to do is work out who the true patriarch was and where his fortress is. And then find a way to get below it. But which fortress? It says... The first, find the knights who share a horse and grasp the stone to open the way. Maybe the first refers to the path that the righteous must take to reach the angel. That makes sense. So we should understand the clue once we arrive at the right place. It says, the second, address the arms upon the shields and close the circle for the knights to let you pass. It says, the third, follow the master's worldly route and prove yourself worthy to lift. First, the fortress where he did fight, but was overwhelmed by Mamluk's might. Then he traveled to Longshank's fair city, and as grand preceptor, he was received. To the temple at Vilnov, where he was appointed grand master of the order, before journeying to the island where he holds his court. It says, the last, to see the light turn from Holy Sion to face the great fortress of the Empire of the East, the seat of the Holy Church in the West, the learned Coptic city to the south. Turn from Holy Sion to face, from where? Jerusalem? Can you decode it, George? Uh-uh, not fully. I need a library or a database. But the streets are too dangerous. Can't we get information online? Well, there is a website. Andre Labano's Society of Antiquarian Knowledge, but I was locked out. Didn't you say that Virgil had hacking skills? Yeah, but he's pretty angry right now. Then get charming.